Welcome aboard. This is a sailing trip from Portugal to Germany. It was at the end of October when we took off for 1600 miles to the north. We were sailing up the Costa della Morte when we saw that a storm was coming up. We decided to go into the harbor of Vigo. It was too wild on the Atlantic to go out again, so we had to stay in Vigo a few days longer than we had planned. It was raining cats and dogs, and it was quite narrow on board, but luckily we found this. So Vigo is a good place for sailors. But we had the cabin fever on board. That's why we needed to get out. And it was still rough at the Cape Finisterre. We were pretty excited as we left the Bay of Vigo through the northern channel wondering what we will find at sea. Waves and swell came from different directions and the wind was still pretty strong. But the situation was under control. sunset we had the Cape Finisterre abeam, so we jibed and went to the east again. the night, northerly winds were coming up, so we were not tempted to start the crossing of the Bay of Biscay straight away. In the early morning hours, we came to A Coruña. We had met these English sailors heading to Formas in Cornwall. Here you can see them demonstrating our crew how to drink wine in the oldest bar in Acoronia. 
At sunset, we said farewell to the English sailors and slipped the lines in A Coruña. north of Arcoronia we saw that a lot of water was coming into the boat. We were really alarmed and wanted to head back to land until we found out that the water was coming from our own tank. The Bay of Biscay was quiet. We had a southerly wind around 15 knots. After two days we had made it to the continental shelf again. Here the wind picked up. The French Coast Guard broadcasted a gale warning. Le Cross Corset. Fin de la diffusion du bulletin météorologique spécial côtier. Je repasse cette bon Terminé. After three days at sea, we came to Roscoff in northern Brittany. There was still storm force winds in the English Channel, so we had to wait once more. The youngest fellow had to leave the boat, so we brought him to the station in Molay, just south of Roscoff. We waved goodbye and took a chance to look at this wonderful town. It can be dull to be stuck in a harbour, especially in Brittany in November. The tides were coming and going, we had to wait for the wind to decrease. Eventually the wind dropped. We left Roscoff immediately. But we needed to hurry, because in less than a day's time, the next storm force winds should hit the English Channel. By then, we would have to be in Cherbourg. Next morning, we had passed the Cap de la Hague. The wind did exactly what the forecast had said. So it was time for us to get to Cherbourg. In the afternoon of the following day, when we had a running tide, we went out again. It was pretty rough. A westerly swell was still high. We set sail and took an easterly course, expecting a very shaky night.
Abîme de Gouffray, Bar Bama, valable du jeudi 21 novembre à 8h temps universel au jeudi 5 novembre à 16h UTC, vent, sud à sud-ouest 7, rafale. Next morning, the wind had not decreased as it should have, and the waves were still up to five meters. We were hoping that we would pass the Dover Strait with a favorable tide. We made it through the Dover Street with the right tide and entered the North Sea. Behind the Dover Strait we reached the Flemish banks. Here the wind picked up. It blew with up to 40 knots. We had to reef the gym. Okay? This didn't matter to the French customs. They were checking our papers between the sandbags. After we had passed Rotterdam, the wind decreased a bit and we had more space to sail. As you can see, we were on a good run, but because of a weak moment of the engine before, we had to plan a stopover in Emuden near Amsterdam. The waves in front of the harbour entrance were pretty high and we were not really sure if we could rely on the engine because it had failed once before.
We were looking for this filter. The Dutch were really helpful. One man even drove us into town. But we couldn't find the model. So we decided to leave again. Next day was the 12th of November, and we couldn't believe it. We had expected snow and ice when we took off from Portugal, and now we had 20 degrees. Almost home. Time to share a drink. Three days after we had left Cherbourg, we arrived at Cuxhaven, Germany. Next morning we started our home run to Hamburg.
Three weeks after we had left Lagos, we were happy to be there, safe and sound, before the winter had arrived.